You know, I just realized Bentley's a faster pickpocket than Sly is. Sly has more finesse, but, uh... That's interesting. Also, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Today we're doing a mission, and I have no idea what this mission is called. It's called Duty Calls. Cool. And this is that question. Okay, Sly, this looks pretty simple. Tail Grizz until you can get the call to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with the homing darts. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. It ain't your biz, my name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way, or I'm gonna get rough. Work. Don't notice gonna me. Make me a fortune, I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my art in the ground. Some kind of game on the grid? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you're walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Ho hold on, hold on, I'm losing signal. Hold on, I said I'm losing signal. I said I... Hold on. I can't... Hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. Okay. You got the Grizz? Live at large with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, cause you'll just get crushed. I gotta say, I've never enjoyed any of the old rappers from the 90s when everybody thought rapping was cool. Maybe it was, I don't know. But he's definitely the best rapper I've ever heard. And I don't like rap. So don't need no canvas. I just paint on the walls. Nobody give me static. Cause I'm better than y'all. Whatever you say, buddy. Spook the penguin. You there? Good. Now listen up. The eggs are running out here, but I need to keep my paint production going. So I need you to find me the resources. What? Well, I don't know. You know, like, uh, chickens, turkey, ostriches, parrot, frog. How would I know? Just make it happen, man. What? Oh, man, hold on. I, I gotta find some reception. I gotta find some. Hold up. Man. No. Oh, hold on. Bentley, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. <laughs> it's a good idea, just uh, know who it is you're going to be talking to. Also, he never looks behind him. I hope I didn't just jinx it, but... He's really careless. I'm sure he's super tough, but he is really careless. At this point, it's just stay close and listen to him talk. Which I'm fine with. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, come on now. I scratched your stinky stripey little back, now you scratch mine. Not only that, I got those other crazy couple folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Huh? Oh, hold on. It's the reception, man. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me. I can't hear you. You chopping. You chopping. You chopping. I forget it, man. I, I... Sounds like his deal with the paradox isn't going so well. Oh, poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. How's that going? 
They've always got great characters in the Sly game, so I don't mind just listening to him talk. How did he catch me? I need to know. At least that time he finally stopped and looked behind him. What? How? So I'm rolling. I'm flowing. So bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach the paradox. Don't mess with the bear. Is the bear supposed to have really bad gas? Also, he's really cruising. I'm finding this all pretty entertaining. He had a call, and then he didn't have a call. Exception died faster than normal that time. I'm coming for you. He is really moving. You, you going up that way now? Okay. He's really got somewhere to be at this point. Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Dang! No! I was so close! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been tailing Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So... We're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. Don't know why he bothered to ask that question after she made that statement. It was nice to see her again, though. I caught up with the Ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think and I'd realize some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that too. In the past, I'd always chase Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in the paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! And to uh, Sly's credit, he never actually... Oh boy. He never actually arrests anybody either. It's just Carmelita shows up after he's been there, and they've already been taken down, they're ready and waiting for her. Admittedly, not the most legal way of doing things, but, uh... Still. All right, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. 
It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg bats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Um, I know that Sly's usually been the one to fight the boss, but I feel like he and Murray should really switch roles. Just my personal opinion. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Surely you just saw things. I wouldn't be worried about it at all. Uh, there's something over here I'm supposed to get to. Oh, it's probably up above me. Pardon me, sir. Didn't mean to beat you up for no reason. Just, uh, don't want to get myself beaten up. Where are we going? We're going over here. Cool. Also nice to have Carmelia back. I missed her. Good morning. I'm here. Who wants okay, to play? This is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something, sitting in that other car. Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want Sly and Carmelita's story to be fully resolved by the end of the game. Not yet, anyway. But... This is my stop. I need to destroy those egg bats and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. Now, admittedly, I know that we... <gasps> Great job. I know that we haven't had another Sly Cooper game in a long time since this one, honestly. But still, jeez. Yeah, that was actually kind of tough. So we couldn't, like, get closure in a different game, but still. You don't need closure all the time, I feel, so. Wait, is there something else in there? No? Okay. Kaboomy! Nope! Now, how did you know I was over there? Okay, wrong button. <laughs> right. That's what I should do. You might as well quit right now. If I open those piston valve covers, they should function as lifts. Okay, guess we're just fine. <laughs> there you go. Throw it. Throw it. Thank you. I was planning on playing another PS3 game after this, but... Okay, thanks. It's gotten to the point with these controls where I think the, like, I'm pretty sure my controls are dying. Not that I'm trying to excuse away my uh, poor playing at times, because I've definitely played a little poorly at times. I'm starting to notice... I'm starting to notice some problems that make me a little concerned about what else could be going on there. Maybe you could just buy a new one, but is anybody really selling new PS3 controllers anymore? 
I'm just gonna sit right next to you. Hey, how's it going? Everything good? You're gonna watch me pick your pocket? Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Not really sure what all happened there, but all right. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna, just gonna get a move on. I bet if I disable that egg bat, this maintenance bridge will rise. Looks like those bats are wind -packed. I need to knock out those blades to shut it down. Are you kidding me? This looks like a job for my explosive darts. Not too concerned. Just gonna. Yeah. That's one bad down. yeah. I didn't even recognize those were supposed to be darts from the little icon, so. Derp, my bad. My skills have been declining in this game for a while, I've noticed. But again, I really don't think. Ooh! That's pretty. I really don't think my controller is in optimal condition anymore. Oh, this is new. Wait, I have to... No, it's not new. Ugh. I was hoping it would be a while. Derp, 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 derp. What? Oh. Didn't see that control option for a while. Now we have to do it all over again. That's real nice. Whoop. Thanks, computer. Around it this time. So much better. Kinda wanna get all these things. The principle of the matter. Please let there not be a second stage. Just one stage. Just one stage. Just one stage. Holla friggin' Luya. I swear these loading screens are about as long as that entire stage was. Shouldn't be a problem. I just can't let these mallets turn me into a turtle pancake. Oh, they're mallets. I thought that they were flat vulture heads. Time for some more explosive darts. That one was a little too forced. There's the tower, Bob. You'll need to find the valve covers and pry them loose to disrupt the power output. Yes, it is a dangerous climb, but if anyone can do it, you can. Right. See you at the top. Good luck. Thank goodness for captions. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Woo! Um. Eventually it worked. I'm still not quite sure what the controls were though. This crate seems kind of pointless to be here. I don't know who left it here. I'm sure somebody was looking for it later on. Come on, smack it. Just gonna take my time there if you don't mind. Come on. Oh, 
Okay. Still should have taken my time. Is there a mask below me? I feel, whoops. I feel there might be a mask below me. Because this seems pointless. Yeah. Um, I know I pushed the circle button. We good, we good, up, oh, not yet. We good. Um, why did you keep climbing? I'm getting increasingly concerned about my controller. It's like it's degrading really fast. Or I'm just starting to notice it all at once. Yeah, only Sly's getting through that mess. We don't have a lot of time here, Sly. Use your pounce to reach that platform and take out the guard. Ah. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Didn't take too long. I just noticed, though, that I can't attack anything while I'm in costume. At all. Can't interact with stuff, either. Don't need to pounce on these to jump to them. Again, you know what I'm about to say. I don't think I need to say it. So I'm just gonna let you hear me say it in your minds. Good to note. Okay, it's a one-way ticket. I'll just wait for it. Try to be patient. Yep, yep, we good, we good, we good, we good. Thank you, please give me some health. Probably should have used my paraglider. Thanks for reminding me. Might be a bit too late on that, but you know what? We're friends, so I'll let it go. What is this stuff, by the way? Is it gas? Because it looks like liquid. And I don't know how I feel about that. Also, two masks in one mission. Makes me slightly concerned about all the other stuff I could have been missing. Yeah, how are we going to get Murray over here? Yeah. Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. Way to hustle, Sly. <laughs> Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. I love Bob's recognition there. <laughs> oh, Man, there's some tension. I I should have made that left turn. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. There we go. When I put that Cooper gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away. Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him. Wait a Why? sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chumps. The Paradox, everybody. All 
I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, uh, okay. No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little club, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate time. Uh, okay. Oh, this won't take quite a bit. I'll just uh, wait for you to be vulnerable then. Nope. No punching. Uh, he was vulnerable for a brief moment. Okay. How are you doing that? Right. A little bit more careful. Yeah, I think Murray's gonna feel a lot more useful in this mission after taking Grizz out. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I was outside that radius. This really did come out of nowhere, though. I wasn't watching this. <laughs> Great musical touch there. Okay, so it's just survive until you get the appropriate event. I don't know why you needed to become a painter in order to skate. With the style you're doing, it seems like you're doing it backwards. Oops. Okay. I was remembering the previous game where there's a brief pause whenever he does the belly flop. We good. Okay. I'm ready to jump for the that thing. And then he drops the icicles instead. Okay, you need to knock it off. Seriously? I know I was out of range that time. Okay, you're gonna do a thing. Nope. Okay, so I just screwed up. I straight screwed up. That's real nice. I think I might have two hits left until I'm done. Okay, some health good. It's really hard to tell which move he's going to be doing next. In complete honesty. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. No way you can cop 
me the grid. I mean, I've kind of been doing that. Also worth noting, everybody is still behind the ice wall watching this entire thing. You don't mind me just uh, punching a uh, black bear in the face. Okay. Not immediately sure how I was supposed to have avoided that. If this was a different game, I'd try punching those ice blocks whenever he throws them at me, but I don't think the game would allow that to happen. Jumping. Jumping was the answer. Jumping was usually the answer. <laughs> Darn it. I saw him doing it, but Murray was too busy punching. Which could be the story of his life. Took a while to get back up to this stage. Not that it makes much difference, apparently. I'm, I'm just gonna... I have full health. I'm probably just gonna try to keep on punching these things. I don't think I'll miss out on too much. Except, you know, health. But I'm pretty sure also that this is the last stage. Yeah, and whenever I... Uh, not sure why I missed that first one. Okay. Final trial. And then punchy. Nice moves, Murray. You were great. That performance was definitely a ten, pal. Murray. Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens, but it doesn't matter because we're a team. And we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Come on, hippos love apples. Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet. I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves. Something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off. Whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England. And as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper, a gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down, he was pretty worried. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. Uh, 
That better not be another clockwork. Okay, um... The Ice Age thing ended kind of abruptly, I feel, and I've got barely anything from that era. And not super hyped about how this one is looking as I go into it. But we'll figure that out next episode, I suppose. Still got bottles from the Old West and the Ice Age to collect. I don't know when or if I'll go get them. I just, in general, don't enjoy navigating the ice world and I don't know where the last bottle would be in the West. So, uh, yeah, I think next time I'm just going to move on to the England stuff. So, uh, see you then, everybody, and as always, take care.